Hey everybody, I have part two of the owl video for you today as a way to say happy birthday to my friend Erica. A couple of friends have gotten together and we all have videos for you today. So I'm going to show you how I made the trees in the background of my owl card. These trees are layering dies and I decided to have some super inky fun with some distress ink. I'll show you the colors in just a second. And I have gloves on because this is a pretty messy process. And last time I did this, because I did it on another card, my fingernails were green for a week. So I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. That's my new motto. So I'm going to mist these trees before putting them in the ink. That just kind of helps the ink move around and blend. And you can see I'm getting a lot of ink and there's a lot of water on there. And so I'm both going to blot it and dry it with my heat gun. I won't bore you by showing you the heat gun part. But these will be a little bit lighter when they're finished from the blotting. If you wanted to just let them air dry, they will come out a little more intense in color. But I was feeling impatient and actually wanted to finish the card because I love the owl. And so I helped it along with just a little bit of sopping up some of that extra ink and lightening that in parts. Now I also have a piece of watercolor paper here that I'm just going to pick up the excess ink with and I'm going to use that as a background. So it's a beautiful kind of oceany sort of background and that way I don't really waste the ink that's down there on my craft mat. I can still use that for another project and the colors are so pretty together. Towards the end they kind of mix a little bit and that makes it fun too. So I blotted that also and got kind of a tree shape on that wet watercolor paper. That is another way to do fun, fun little backgrounds with dyes. So I'll clean the rest of this off of my craft mat and I'm just taking a tissue and just blotting just the big puddles off of the die cut so that they dry a little bit faster. Now I have a brown Olo marker that I am coloring the trunks and stems of these trees with. This is really cool because these little branches will show through the openings in this tree. And so it's really fun. I didn't feel like it was worth getting, you know, inked up for that to do a similar technique. So the marker was just quicker. So you can see this is the paper that I cut the owl out of. In the back of this, is this cool night sky. So I will cover up the white part. That's the, it's the choice you make when you use double-sided paper and glue the sort of star background down onto my card front. Now this is gonna provide just an easy kind of galaxy background for the whole scene. And that's why I wanted the trees just a little bit dark because this is going to be a nighttime scene. Now for the large tree, I'm gluing the stem on top of the solid layer and then gluing the open layer on top of that. And that is what lets those little branches peek through. I just love that. So fun. Now these are very easy to line up. The shapes line up around the edge. So there's no guesswork there at all. So I'll pop a little magnet on there. You do want to make sure that these are completely dry before you glue them together, especially with watercolor paper, you don't want to do anything with it when it's wet. You want to make sure that that is completely dry. So I'm adding the stem to the second smaller tree. This one has a really fun kind of fluffier shape that I really liked and it has the same open layer for the top that gives you that same style, letting you peek through to the back. So think about using a completely different color scheme in the back. So if you wanted to make a fall tree, you could do orange in the background and yellow on the front. There's just a lot of possibilities for these. You can also layer just random pieces of it together. You can do all kinds of stuff. I just needed a couple trees though, so I am good with what I have. 
Now, I wanted there to be some dark ground that the owl was going to be sort of positioned in front of. So he's in the foreground and the trees are kind of in the distance in the background. But obviously, there shouldn't be stars underneath (laughs) the trees because we're not in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So I got some black cardstock to fix that. So I'm using this white ink and I'm going to show you my favorite trick for doing a moon. This is so crazy easy, but it makes a perfect moon every time. Just get your little blending tool and you just pop it down once on cardstock and it's a perfect moon. Like it has the moon texture. It's got the moon shape. It's ideal. This is so easy and I do it every time. So now that sort of sets the scene and I'm going to add some moonlight with the same white ink onto the edge of the trees. Now this will be very subtle in the finished product and the more you blend kind of the more subtle it'll be and the white ink will fade just a little bit. But I wanted there to be at least a little bit of a highlight there just to show the moonlight and sort of add to the spookiness of this card, which I love. I think this would make a great Halloween card. I'm keeping the white highlight on the same edge of the trees, just so as not to defy the laws of physics. Although if you want to defy the laws of physics, that's fine. Go ahead. You're free human. And now I'll just hand cut a little curve into the top of this, just to sort of make it look like they're rolling hills. A lot of this is covered up but I still think it's a detail worth doing. So I will position my little trees on the hills and it'll just give me kind of a nice dividing line between the foreground and the background. Also, you'll notice a difference in color. Not all black paper is the same and I think that that really helps add to the separation between the ground and the sky. So the bird, again, will be in the foreground and he'll be sitting on this little branch, sort of surveying his territory and generally plotting complete and total mayhem because we all know that's what owls do. So here's what it looks like. Look at that amazing texture on the moon. I just love it so much. This was such a fun card to make. And these dyes just make scenic stuff so easy. I added a little shadow underneath the trees just with a black marker after adding some white ink for a highlight. And that's all we have. So look for the other hoppers today and be sure and say happy birthday to Erica in her comment section. And thanks so much for watching.